Nebraska. Let's talk about Matt Rule for a minute. Matt Rule is hiring. Now, he's already made a couple of hires, but he is hiring uh, South Carolina offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield. Now, I'm sure some people are questioning, of course, if you don't know the inner workings of college football, uh, what's the tie there first? Well, the tie there is Satterfield was with him at Temple. Satterfield was with him at Baylor. Uh, Satterfield went with him to the Carolina Panthers and then came back to be Shane Beamer's first offensive coordinator at South Carolina. Satterfield was instrumental in making sure that uh, Spencer Rattler uh, succeeded in this offense. And they obviously did, especially towards the end of the season. They finally had things rolling. But the reason why Satterfield would leave to take the Nebraska job with Matt Rule isn't more money. It's not like South Carolina couldn't offer him more money than what Nebraska was going to offer. What you're running into is Satterfield does not forget that at one point this season, there were a lot of calls for South Carolina to make offensive coaching changes this offseason because of how poorly the offense had been running through this season. They've got a ton of weapons there but they weren't doing anything. They scored zero offensive points against Florida just three weeks ago. Like, and that's, and that's right before they go to tennis or they go back home and face Tennessee and put up nine touchdowns in the ball game. I mean, it's just absurd the way that things went, but Satterfield, the last two games, if you take those two away, it's not like he was super successful as an offensive coordinator in Columbia. He just wasn't. But you add on those last two games against Clemson and against Tennessee, and all of a sudden, Satterfield looks like an incredible hire, etc. Once you are on the hot seat, you are never really off the hot seat. And these offensive coordinators, they do not have these long-term deals, right? They might be making quite a bit of money now. I mean, Kendall Bryles, uh, I believe, is at $2 million to be an offensive coordinator at Arkansas. Uh, You're going to get paid a lot of money to be a coordinator, but you don't have the long-term security. You don't have a five-year, six-year contract as an OC or a DC because of the churn, because you might be taking a head coaching job, because you might get fired if the offense does really, really bad and the head coach has to save his own job. There's a lot of different things that are in play with coordinators, and that is the reason why Satterfield, even after things have certainly turned around, you know, one, I would assume that Spencer Rattler is gone after this season. I think he's probably going to go to the NFL. I don't believe he has any more eligibility, but I could be completely wrong on that. I I have not looked into that to see exactly what they're going to do. But that is something to pay attention to going forward with all these coordinator hires, these coordinator changes, and that is these guys don't have the security, and while it might look like a lateral move or even a a step down when you've had a successful year, uh, you're going someplace that you get a fresh start and you get a little bit more security with a guy that you really, really know. It's not like he's not buddies with with Shane Beamer, and it's not like Beamer was going to fire him, especially after what happened in the last two weeks. But Satterfield, I think this is a smart move, and I think he can do good things at Nebraska with Matt Rule. It all depends on what Rule ends up doing. I mean, Rule said in his press conference today uh, that the biggest thing is you got to make sure you got your line play in order. Like, you can't win if you don't dominate at the line of scrimmage. Just bottom line. So we know what they're going to try and change there. We know what he's going to try and implement, and we'll see what Satterfield does. Uh, how, who do they get out of the portal? What do they end up doing as far as recruiting, et cetera? I'm I'm curious to see what Nebraska looks like, but I think hiring Satterfield, who is an experienced coordinator, is a a smart move, and it's a guy that he knows. So there's a lot of familiarity with the offensive system that Satterfield is going to bring in there. Uh, Good all around on Nebraska, and and maybe good for South Carolina to uh, maybe make a change, even though things were going good over the last two weeks. maybe, Maybe start something fresh for Shane Beamer. You've already got the culture in place, bring in a guy, that is capable of getting it done week in and week out. Uh, This could be a win for both sides. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.